Hi, welcome to part one of the Beat Chronic Fatigue Recovery Kickstart course. Thank you for signing up. If your experience of chronic fatigue was like mine, or if it's worse, then I know that your time and energy is precious. So thanks for showing faith in me and choosing to spend your valuable time on this journey with me. In this 10 part course, I will share what I learned and how I recovered from chronic fatigue. And hopefully that will help you. This video goes for about seven or eight minutes and I talk about what I found to be wrong with me and what I believe is really going on in the chronic fatigue body. Feel free to pause it and restart it later if you need to. So let's get started. So what's the problem? You're fatigued, tired, exhausted. Maybe you're low in mood. Maybe you're also depressed. Experience poor sleep. Absolutely you have no energy. Maybe you even have poor concentration and a poor memory. Maybe experience pain. And then there is the brain fog. I had all of these to a varying degree, but the brain fog is what really had a grip on me, although I was lucky not to have as much pain as is common for some. Look, I'm not going to go into the medical facts or research about chronic fatigue. You can easily find that out by doing an internet search, and you'll easily also see how much confusion and lack of understanding there is as well. To keep it really simple, chronic fatigue is usually the end result after A, a big stressing event, like an infection or trauma or surgery, illness or virus, something like that, or B, the result of small stresses building up over a long period of time, like a persistent low-grade infection or trauma, or an illness, or an ongoing stress in your life that constantly demands resources of your body, a kind of death by 1,000 cuts. If you examine your life, you'll probably see that you've had one or two or three big stressful events, or you've got a lot of small stresses bubbling away under the surface. So what do you have? Have you read about some conditions and managed to fit your symptoms to one of them? Or have you seen a doctor and had a bunch of tests done and have you been given a diagnosis? Or have you ended up at a diagnosis because tests show that there appears to be nothing wrong with you? So it's got to be fatigue or something like that. So maybe you have chronic fatigue or chronic fatigue syndrome. Maybe myalgic encephalomyelitis. Maybe post-viral fatigue, adrenal fatigue, chronic fatigue immune defunction syndrome, yuppie flu, Iceland flu, Icelandic disease, sorry, fibromyalgia. Hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis dysfunction, systemic exertion intolerance disease, just fatigue, tiredness or exhaustion, maybe burnout. Whoa, a bit of confusion. There are so many names, there are so many possibilities as to what could be going on. There is so much conjecture, even the medical and scientific communities can't agree. As I'm recording this video, there's a big movement underway in order to reclassify and rename chronic fatigue. So, is it any wonder it's so confusing for us? I feel for you, but hey, let's stop, let's take a deep breath. Let's try and keep it simple. I went through a long period of confusion trying to work out what was wrong with me, but in the end, I worked out that it doesn't matter if you have a name or not for it. In many ways, each name and label I've mentioned is correct to some degree, and each describes an element of the truth. But as you peel away each name, each label, each diagnosis, just like you're peeling away the skins of an onion, you ultimately get to the very heart of the matter. And at the very center, the same thing is going on for everyone. And once I found that out, it changed everything. So what's going on? First of all, let me make sure it's important to acknowledge and understand that chronic fatigue is a very real and physical issue. It's in your body, it's not in your mind. It's very encouraging to see that science and medicine is shifting to acknowledging this rather than the long-held belief that it's all just in the head. And that's right, there's something wrong at the physical level of your body. And if you feel back the onion, the heart of your chronic fatigue, you'll find that for a host of reasons I'm about to share, there's just change in the circuitry in your body. As a result, the networks of communication inside of you have altered. Your body is operating differently, both on a physical and physiological level. And at the heart of your problems, the heart of the struggles, I found that there were six key issues that made sense to me. Six key problems are occurring, and it's these that appear to be causing all of the issues you're experiencing. They happen to differing degrees in everyone, so that means that some people will have more of one thing going on than another. And this kind of also explains why different people experience their symptoms to varying degrees and severity. So the six key issues are, one, excess oxidation and free radical damage. Two, chronic inflammation. Three, altered cell membranes. Four, defense systems become distorted. 
five, energy systems don't work properly. And six, gene expression changes. You can read about these in details in the blog post below this video. Think of these six issues in terms of an eroded pyramid. 5,000 years ago, these were pristine structures, but the years of wind and rain and sun and sand have eroded them to what we see today, a small and weathered part of their former glory. And that's how I see a chronic fatigue body ends up. Inside you, your body is being withered away by these six issues I just described, and you are now, to a small or large degree, a remnant of your former healthy glory. But all is not lost. Don't despair. I've done the despairing and frustrating for you. Something can be done, and that's what the rest of this course is about. I've been through it. I've made the mistakes, and I've learnt from them. And in this course, in this course, sorry, I can help you. So what action steps can you take from part one? First of all, it's important to ma that you take in and understand that it's the underlying six issues that are important, and it's these that need correcting. Fix these, and the rest of your health and life should fall into place. So make sure that it makes sense to you. Rewatch this video if you have to. Also, I've written out these six key issues below this video, including a summary of each. You can also click the link below to get to another blog post with even more detail. I really want to give you every opportunity to understand. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help out. Now the beauty of all this is that you have within you all you need to recover. Your body is an all-in-one repair shop. That's right, everything you need to recover you already have because you live in the ultimate repair shop called your body. And this course will help you unleash that power that you have in your own body. So with that in mind, I'll see you in part two where I'll leave a special message for you as you start out on your recovery. Speak then.